It's a lot more famous as a tourist destination, but the Western Cape, where the Indian and Atlantic Oceans splash together, is also the largest marine manufacturing centre in South Africa. The city of Cape Town says that boats, ships and other marine vessels were among Cape Town's top 10 largest value exports in 2018. Paramount Maritime has been in the business 17 years and they've got a $250 million order book in the next 18 months. Tell me about the kind of boats you build here. So Paramount Maritime Holdings is an integrated group of companies um, specializing in shipbuilding. Uh, we manufacture vessels in steel, aluminium and composite. Our particular focus is in the security patrol market uh, primarily and um, we have a range of vessels from 8 meters in length right up to 55 meters in length. So quite a broad diversity in length and, uh, and mission capability. And who are your customers? So we are Africa-based and Africa-centric, defining a niche market for us uh, early on in the security sector for the oil and gas market has really been a springboard for the Paramount Maritime Holdings Group. Um, we've also diversified our products, we supply uh, ferries as well as we've got a range of commercial vessels that uh, assist port operations, tugs, pilot boats, etc. What you're doing here is building massive, massive ships and boats. Yeah. But often your clients perhaps are in countries that it's hard to get this to. Yeah. So what we've developed over time and as part of uh, our, our innovation within the shipbuilding industry is portable manufacturing. Um, we've been able to develop our engineering capacity and uh, output to be able to take these vessels in kit format and manufacture them locally in country. It's a big drive in Africa, local content, built in country, um, and through that we can upskill uh, local companies to be able to develop vessels like this. This 35 meter patrol boat is one of the orders headed for open water. The 35 meter has been the flagship vessel for Nordic Africa. Um, it serves a role in the security sector. The vessel is uh, multi-purpose, so it can deliver on several fronts. It can be a crew transfer vessel, it can be a cargo supply vessel, and then it can remain on station as a security patrol vessel. So, so we've, we've designed this vessel uh, from the ground up, uh, specific to the market requirements. Um, each vessel is fully customizable um, to our customers' requirements. And that's really our, our value proposition that we give to our customers, the ability to evolve their vessel exactly to their specific needs. So how long does it, does it take to get this to completion? So it, it, it takes us uh, 10 to 11 months uh, from keel laying, which is the ceremonial start of the build vessel, of, of the vessel build. And uh, yeah, 11 months, we're ready to hand over to the customer. Looks like it should take longer. It <laughs> Paramount Maritime has seen a big jump in business recently. The company says it's gone from making just 60 vessels over the last 15 years to having orders for 48 vessels over the next 18 months. That growth is partly attributed to government initiatives aimed at supporting South Africa's ocean economy. We've seen huge investments coming through from the South African government uh, to develop the blue economy and um, we're starting to see the rewards of that now through skills development, apprenticeship programs, vessel orders from uh, government entities and, uh, um, and navies and, uh, and defence and um, that growth is starting to bear fruit now. But passing on and developing expertise compatible with a highly automated future is a crucial challenge for the marine manufacturing industry. Here it's being tackled through an apprenticeship program leading to a trade qualification that's recognized around the world, known as a Red Seal. How do you feel when these apprentices graduate or end up with jobs here? First of all, when apprentices graduate, their success is our success. 
and the previous apprentice, all of them passed the trade test and that is the best feeling that you ever want to have. For them, it's a big achievement to have your qualification, your red seal and that is what we work for. So when the apprentice get the red seal, they know they can go into the world, they are now qualified as a qualified artist. The future growth of marine manufacturing here is very much about building more skills as well as building more boats.